Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but like the title of the video probably said, today we have some maximum power 357 Magnums out here. My buddy Lee actually loaded these for me for us to give a whirl. I guess, could you call that a wad cutter? I don't know, maybe semi wad cutter, but they got a flat nose on them. He said these were loaded to the max, uh, but still safe to be fired. I'm gonna fire them out of my Taurus Model 66. Um, just because I think it would be interesting, I brought out the chronograph and I'm gonna check the speeds. These are 147 grain projectiles there, 147 grain, uh, 357 mag. Um, you can get quite a different uh, wide array of bullet weights from light all the way up to fast. Uh, I mean, up to heavy. 147 grain is a, a little bit, I don't know, is that on the heavier side? You guys let me know in the comments. Then of course, uh, when we got some stuff that's got some real power, we had to bring out the cantaloupes and the watermelons. Could you believe watermelons are almost $6 now? Man, I remember when watermelons were like a dollar something. Everything's just going up. And uh, I used to have to walk to school uphill both ways. That was a corny joke, but I'm just complaining about things being too expensive. Anyways, uh, wanted to do a fun, quick video with this super hot uh, 357 Magnum loads that my buddy Lee loaded up for us. Um, we're going to check some speeds on the chronograph, hit this fruit. It's going to be a good time. Let's go check it out. We'll check out the chronograph first. I'm actually going to compare it to some other ammo that I had at the house just to kind of give us a little bit of comparison. But let's go check it out, set this stuff up. All right, first the chronograph, just to have something to compare it to. I had these Fiocchi or Fiocchi, have you ever want to say it, 142 grainers. And only had two left in the box, believe it or not. So I'm gonna fire two of these at the chronograph. And then uh, two of the hot hand loads. See if these hand loads are faster than the Fiocchi 357 Magnums. Try not to shoot my camera down there. We are at seven yards. Why? Because Paul Harrell says to shoot them at seven yards. So let's we'll see what kind of speeds. Remember, the first two are the Fiocchi. Don't shoot the camera down there. 1241. That felt pretty hot in my hand. Let's see what the next one does. Fiocchi. 1248. Now these next two are going to be the hand loads from my buddy Lee here. See if these are faster. They're a little bit heavier. Five grains heavier. 1259. So they were heavier and faster. And I felt the sting in my hand a little bit there. So definitely uh, have some boogie on them. Got some juice to them. A little bit of extra sauce on them. Let's shoot another one at the chronograph. That was 12.59. That was even faster at 12.61, but you can see how consistent those hand loads were too. 12.59, then 12.61, two feet per second off. That's pretty consistent. But now, the best part of the show, let's go get to uh, making some splody bits out of some fruit, some expensive fruit. <laughs> All right now. I'm gonna back up, same distance as the chronograph, about seven yards. I've got four of these babies loaded up. The Taurus Model 66 is a seven shot 357. So, uh, oh, we got four fruits and a loaded four. How about that? In my head, I was loading myself an extra one just in case I missed. But let's see if I can hit all these. I find myself wanting to flinch on these for some reason. Let's start with the cantaloupes. See if we can hit some cantaloupe. I sure hope we can. Seven yards. Oh, empty chamber. This time it'll go. That was just a practice shot. Well, we definitely hit it. I don't know how good, but it knocked it off the thing. Let's go to the cantaloupe in the middle here. <laughs> hit 
hit that one. Now let's go watermelon, watermelon. Ooh, it tore that one in half. Let's hit the other one. That one went into a whole bunch of pieces. Let's go check out up close. Ooh. I can tell you one thing, it definitely smells awesome out here. <sighs> that uh, that gets me some healthy points for the day, breathing in fruit vapors, doesn't it? Mix of watermelon and cantaloupe. That just smells really good. But let's check it out. The uh, 357 definitely vaporized that fruit. Literally, I'm breathing in that fruit vapor. Pretty wild. But our first one was a cantaloupe, and it looks like that was a perfect center hit. Look at that, guys. Pretty much hollowed out that cantaloupe. End for end, hit that perfect in and out, and then the inside is just gone. And then the second one was also a cantaloupe. This one, how square did we hit that one? I don't know if that's the entrance or the exit. I think we kind of hit the side of it like that. It went through like that. Same thing though. Look at the inside. Just kind of turned the inside to jelly and mush. Then we had watermelons. There's a bunch down there on the ground. A bunch up here on the table. And then I saw bits going up there on the range too. And here's the back bottom to one. And similar to the cantaloupe, uh, it just turned that to mush guys like there's not even anything more you can eat kind of like uh, those of you who deer hunt It's kind of like a deer lung after you shot the lung if you know what I'm saying. It's just mush but that uh, 357 definitely is some powerful stuff in those custom super hot loads there But there you have it guys. That's my Taurus model 66 357 Magnum had this uh, revolver for over 10 years uh, back when you could get this for under $400, believe it or not. Uh, they're about double that now, if you're lucky. And those hand loads from my buddy Lee. Those flat points. Definitely a whole lot of sauce in these bad boys. You saw the speeds. With the heavier bullet, it still was going faster than that factory stuff that we tried on the chronograph. And then... You saw the damage on the fruit. You guys have already seen the slow motion. I haven't. I won't see that until we edit it. But I guarantee that is probably some good footage. But let me know what you think about 357 Magnum. This 7-shot Taurus 66 actually was my daily carry uh, for probably about two years, uh, believe it or not. I've since switched over to the semi-autos. But... Uh, from time to time, I still use this as a woods gun when I'm deer hunting, um, and then obviously for videos. But let me know what you think about the 357 Magnum. I am big time a fan. Got a lot of horsepower in it. What's not to love? Uh, if you can handle it, it'll handle you. I don't know what uh, what that means, but yeah, super random. Anyways, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think about the 357 Magnum. Again, thanks to Lee for loading us up these rounds here. Comment down below ideas for future videos. We got some more of these if you want to see see these in another video. Appreciate Heavy Metal. Y'all go subscribe to Heavy Metal. Check out all the links down below. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Hootie hoo! Oh, yeah.